So yeah, now we will actually go through the anatomy of mobile wallets. Um, we will feature some of the Cherry Pie solutions we have, and I guess Wendy is the best person to do it. <laughs> <laughs> we're all we're all good to do this. Yeah, um, absolutely. So mobile wallet content anatomy. What we want to share with you guys here is. Essentially, we talked a little bit about some of the cool features and how it integrates to the lock screen. You've got app integration. You've got it, you know, using it as a communication channel. We want to show you what is a piece of content in the mobile wallet made up of, which is why we're going to talk about the anatomy here. And as Nicholas mentioned, uh, we were going to we're going to show you guys how this is done with um, Cherry Pie. Now, Cherry Pie is our new uh, marketing automation platform built for marketers. We wanted to make it easy for marketers to be able to, number one, easily create mobile wallet content, automate that, and really track and understand how, how do you, I guess, how their customers are behaving in the real world, and then using this platform as, a, as an engagement channel between the brand and between the consumer. Yeah, I would say one more thing. Um, after going through the, the actual anatomy, we will also show a few examples. So in case you didn't understand something, you can, one, ask us a question, but don't worry because we will cover everything in the next few slides. Yep, absolutely. So, this. so this is a this is cherry pie, an introductory. We'll, and we'll show you at a very high level. We won't show you step by step as to how to create content using cherry pie. What we will do uh, at the end of the webinar is we will send you guys resources so that you guys can quickly do this yourself. So we'll show you. We'll send you guys how to guides. Um, so yeah, mobile wallet content anatomy. You can see right here we've got a beautiful design creator, and you can actually customize the design on the front of the pass. Um, as any, pretty much any way you'd like, choose a template to start with. You know whether you want to issue coupons, loyalty cards, membership cards, event tickets. You name it; it's there for you to choose. You can customize the look and feel of it with colors, and nice images, and then the content part on the front of the pass, and then the back of the pass. This is where um, you can then add more information that you can't cover. You know on the front of the pass, but additional valuable information to the customer. And typically, we find that these are you know things that the customer will find useful, things that the customer can take action on. So whether it is you know a link to your customer support hotline, or um, which allows them you know once they tap on that number, it immediately dials the number, or it's an email to your support system or support staff, or maybe it's you know directions to your location. All this content can be put on the back of the pass. And what I would recommend in this case is also keeping one um, part on the back of the pass. Um, as as an update channel. So as I showed you guys earlier, how we could use how restaurants can use mobile wallet to deliver you know today's lunch sets. You can use a special field on here to deliver push updates and to deliver content to the user. Whether it's a new offer, whether it's just to say hello, um, it could be anything you want. But I think at the end of the day, what it comes down to is the content that you want to deliver to your customers should be valuable to them in some way. Otherwise, there's not much value in putting it there. You don't want to bombard them with information that they're not going to use or value. Yeah, that's what we said earlier. Basically, it's not just saying, buy this, come here, do this. Yeah. It's like more an engaging um, communication channel. Exactly. Um, so on the design, you've got the front and the back. Through Cherry Pie, you can also design what the pass will look like if somebody were to redeem it. And previously, this. Um, we, you had to you know, understand how to use the API to do this. Nicholas has become an expert at, uh, at the API yes. now. Um, but we figured not a lot of people, I mean, people not necessarily, won't necessarily have the amount of time or the technical capability or don't want to bring IT into the equation to do as something as simple as you know, removing a barcode when the customer redeems it. So in Cherry Pie, you can actually design how you want that pass to look upon redemption. Um, and I talked a little bit about lock screen integration earlier. You can also add uh, GPS lo uh, locations, so the addresses of where your stores are or different locations. You can also integrate beacons into there. So for example, if you have you know, gem taught beacons, you can put in the UUID, the major and minor of that. And when a customer walks past that beacon or is in proximity to that beacon, they'll see that dedicated lock screen message that 
um, reminds them, you know, to use this offer or reminds them that your brand is there. So using a combination of GPS at a macro level and then beacon technology, Bluetooth beacon technology at a micro level will really give um, more context for the customer as well as provide them with something right when they need it the most. Yeah, actually, now that you're talking about beacons, um, I recently have a WeChat beacon experience here in Causeway Bay. It was Chinese New Year. I was hanging out with some colleagues after work, and I was just walking and then going to the subway, and I saw the, the sign of uh, WeChat with the shake shake option, and I just did it, and I received a notification on my screen about like, it was something funny, like a rating on your luck for the year of the monkey. Yeah. And yeah, it was quite, quite nice to go through this. So I actually experienced what that means through WeChat. And this can be implemented in any other uh, mobile wallet. Account. Exactly, yeah. And I mean, we'll, there we can talk. We can keep going and going about you know, beacons and WeChat and <laughs> how, how, how amazing that is. Nicholas has um, actually put together a blog post on his experience. Oh, yeah, we yeah, can share yeah. that with you guys after the webinar. Uh, we probably will do you know, a follow-up webinar on you know, beacons, just helping you guys understand some of the cool things that you can do and share our experiences with our clients that have been using beacons as well. Um, OK, and the final thing in mobile wallet content anatomy is localization, being able to actually customize and really personalize mobile wallet content based on your demographic. Yeah. So, my phone is in English. Nicholas's phone it might be in Italian. Yeah. So if you know you have different customers all around the world and their phones are in different languages, what you can do in Cherry Pie is provide translations for the content you already created, and then distribute that to your customers. If it um, so, how it works is con the content will be displayed in the language of your user's phone setting. So if you know that you know in your target market, you might have people that speak English. You might also have people, for example, in China who use simplified Chinese and people in Hong Kong that might be using traditional Chinese. Simply provide the translations in Cherry Pie, and then once somebody, um, once you distribute that content and they open it and install it into their phone or their wallet app, they will see it based on the location or the setting of their phone. So this allows you to, number one, I mean, provide, you know, very personalized content based on how the user is, you know, most comfortable in, in reading that content. Yeah. And it's, there's, I mean, Cherry Pie does support up to 35 different languages. I think we've covered most of the languages yeah, around I would the say world. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, this is an optional, nice, uh, an optional feature of mobile wallet content, but it does add that level of, you know, personalization um, that you probably wouldn't get anywhere else. Yeah.